What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, do me a huge favor, go ahead and subscribe. We're back with another Lexus update because some people have been wondering what's going on with the car. I said I was going to sell the car and that's still the case. The car is going to be for sale. It was for sale, got a couple offers on the car, but I had to extend the time period on when I was selling it. I thought by this time I would have the car gone. I did get a couple of offers, but none of them ended up happening, so I still have the car. And then I kind of just put it on pause for selling it because I'm using the car and I've been using it and I've been putting a ton of miles on it and slowly fixing the couple of things that are wrong with it. If you guys haven't been following along with the channel, this is my 2007 Lexus IS250 and there's a couple of things that are wrong with it and it's extremely dirty right now. So let's talk about some of the things I've done and some of the things that we're going to be doing to the car and what it all needs and what the time frame is to sell the car or even if I'm still selling it. Well, like I said, at this moment in time, the car is still for sale, but I don't want to sell it for a couple of more weeks, potentially. Hopefully by the end of September, the car will be ready to sell and before winter, it'll be gone. There isn't a huge need for this car, but I did road trip the car and it's basically the car that makes sense to road trip the most out of all of them. It's the cheapest one to road trip. This car is the cheapest car in terms of dollars per miles. It's going to be the cheapest on tires, gas, and basically everything going into it other than the maintenance items, which I think are going to be okay. When we left off, the car needed a couple of things. I took care of basically everything. The main two things were the water pump and the CV axle boot. Well, because I didn't drive the car for probably a month or so, I didn't pay attention to it at all. And in that month, the CV axle boot basically just completely gave up. There was a huge gap in between the axle and the boot. A bunch of stuff got into there and I probably still could have replaced it, but I had to take the whole thing out anyways. So what I opted to do was to change the whole axle out. It was making a really loud vibration from that area and I assumed it was the axle and that took care of a majority of the noise but I think we have a wheel bearing out as well because I want to say it's 50% more quieter than it was before but there's still a little bit of road noise coming from that left front of the car. We'll take it out in just a second and I'll show you guys that I'm going to be trying to figure out what's going on with that maybe tomorrow or the day after sometime in the next week here I think and on top of that the other thing that we had the other major item that the car needed was a water pump now the thing with the water pump is the water pump wasn't going bad it was the seal for the water pump that was going bad causing the water pump to leak a little bit now I just made sure the coolant was where it needed to be put a little bit of extra coolant or water whenever it needed it. And when I was selling the car to the few people who were interested, I did tell them like this was the case and it was leaking a little bit of coolant, but that turns a lot of people off. I could just say that it doesn't leak anything, but that's just not true. I thought it stopped leaking, but the truth is it's a very, very, very slow and minor leak that honestly you could keep driving the car like this as long as you check the coolant every week or so, you could, drive like this for another year. But I'm just assuming that, and I mean at any given point, it could just start leaking a ton. So what I have done is I have a new water pump and I'm going to be replacing it before I officially sell the car. That way the car is going to be completely mechanically sorted and it doesn't need anything for the new owner. Like I said before, I'm not selling the Lexus because I'm tired of maintaining it because we're pretty much already over that hill here. I'm selling the Lexus simply because I've outgrown it. I'll talk a little bit more about my thoughts and reviews of the car, but the new Prius did come out and my dad placed an order on it. If he's gonna take delivery of that car and I need to go on a road trip, I'm gonna be taking that car. And anything else, any other real reason, I don't need another car because I have the Mustang, the Bronco, Miata, whatever in the summertime. But even during the winters, I do drive the Mustang. I'm not afraid to take it out even though I really don't like taking it out in the salt, but I will because I bought the car to daily drive, but I also have the Bronco now. But the Lexus is basically all fixed. I wanted to make a video on the axle, but I was basically just supervising the entire install. I drove this car nearly 2,000 miles last month, so it definitely needs a good wash. But the coolant overflow lives there. As you can see, it's pretty filled up because I did top it off not too long ago. I'm gonna clean the whole engine bay clean the entire car, and we're probably gonna be doing a complete interior detail before I officially am ready to sell the car again. As far as looking into the water pump, the water pump lives right underneath here. It lives right there, if you guys can kinda of see it poking out. It's gonna take a couple of hours, but it is doable by myself, so that's why I'm not really too stressed about it. But like I said, I already have a new water pump right here. This is an OEM water pump. Basically, I'm going to be getting $2,000 worth of service done 
for like $200. Lexus quotes about eight to 900 to a thousand dollars for an axle. Lexus also quotes about 900 to a thousand dollars for the water pump. The parts ran me just about $250, $300, something in that range. So not too bad at all. And that's going to mean that the car is basically all ready to go for the new owner. It's really hot today, but a lot of people were asking about kind of like what's going on with the Lexus. Like, you said that you were gonna sell it. Did you sell it or what's going on? Cause it wasn't in the last garage update video either. But that's what's going on with the Lexus. The only thing that I'm going to do before selling it is give it a good clean, change the water pump and change the oil because I have to change the oil. Obviously I drove a ton last month and I hopefully might have the car for maybe one or two months if everything goes to plan. As far as when the next car is coming, when the replacement car is coming, I have no idea. Again, that's not gonna be my car whatsoever, but that's still going to be featured on the channel. So the CV axle went bad and it definitely needed to be replaced, which is why I went ahead and did that. But the car needs something else from the front left side. Now, perhaps we missed something when we installed it and something ended up getting left loose, which is why it's making this noise right here. It's very minor, I'm not even sure if you guys can hear that, but it's making a little bit of like a whirring noise. And it was making that noise before, but it was twice as loud and the car also was clicking and doing a bunch of other things and all of those were symptoms of having a bad cv axle so i'm not sure what this last noise that's left is but we're going to be looking into that in the next video as well as that i'm going to be changing the water pump and making sure the car is all good to go timeline for when i want this car to be sold i hopefully will have this car ready to go by the end of this month use it and uh, see kind of how things go. And depending on how the next two weeks go, I'd be ready to sell by the end of this month. Things might change and we'll figure out what kind of happens and how things are going to go in a couple of weeks here. The car is going to hopefully be relisted and ready to sell later this month or sometime in the next month to month and a half after that. Regardless of things, I want this car to be gone by the end of this year. I know a lot of people enjoyed watching videos on this car, which is super weird. Out of all my cars, this car got a lot more attention than I even thought it would. I guess a lot of you guys are considering these cars, so I'm going to be doing a proper review, my two-year ownership and everything like that before I sell the car. For those who are interested in buying one or potentially you guys just enjoy seeing content on the car, I am going to be making a full video on the Lexus water pump. I do have a short for the axle boot just because I didn't have my camera on me at the time and I wasn't in my garage. The one thing I don't think I'm going to do is the dash. The dash is awful in this car. It has started cracking, especially after I installed the Apple CarPlay system. I think I'm going to sell the car with the Apple CarPlay system. Having the Lexus as a nice daily to put miles on was really nice. And maybe we'll need another one in the not too distant future. I think realistically in like one to two years is the next time I'm going to be buying a car as a daily. The rest of them are gonna to continue to be irresponsible purchases and cars that absolutely make no sense to have in Wisconsin whatsoever. If you guys are new to the channel and you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. I have a lot of future videos planned and more maintenance stuff coming to the cars and hopefully we get to use the cars before winter comes Unfortunately, that's not too long from now, but if you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.